Hello, and welcome back to Believe Homestead. If you have not been here before, welcome for the first time. We are today in the greenhouse area, and we are going to be working on getting this cleaned up. Oh, I miss the little blue jay. Oh, he's still there. Oh, he's so pretty. I don't know if I can get him in the shot. He's super tiny. Oh, I think he flew away. Okay, anyway. Well, the gnats were fine until I turned on the camera. They really like being on camera. <laughs> so the goal today is to get everything behind me cleaned up. And let's just pan around. There's some massive cleanup that needs to happen all around. And wait for it. That massive mess back there and now I'm facing the sun which is great for the skin. However, I cannot see anything. <laughs> so getting all of this cleaned up and let me flip you around Whew. and show you what we got going on. In that mess right there, we got elderberry bushes, which are the taller ones. We have a rogue blackberry bush, another rogue blackberry bush because these things are super strong, nasturtiums, and we have some that bloomed, and then the strawberry tower, there's almost a strawberry ready for my husband, a hot mess of a whole bunch of stuff that just needs to be taken out, then our grandiose blackberry bush, then back here we have greens, kind of, well they're red, but you know what I mean. Potatoes that we just leave to do their thing. I gotta clean up around those. And then over here we have Landolini lilies that still have an identity crisis because they're supposed to be purple. They are all white. <laughs> and then the moonflowers came back. So this is kind of like my toxic corner over here because those two plants are belladonna. So I wanted to keep them away from where the animals could get them, where the chickens could go near them and let them do their own thing. Then we have some white sage, comfrey, and a bay laurel tree. And then we have weeds. We have some phenomenal lavender that I'm probably gonna put into big pots. More tomatoes that are gonna be given away. More tomatoes that are gonna be given away. All of the garlic. We got a raspberry bush, a rose bush, dill we got some kitchen sage in there some wheat that came from somewhere Ooh, a nasturtium that's getting pretty large my other nasturtium looks like it's coming back we have some more lavender tomatoes and more garlic and then what i'm super excited about is my moonflower tower is starting to get flowers not flowers but stuff and then this is this uh, black hollyhock. This is its second year. It's been kind of eaten by stuff. So we'll see how that goes. These are wild, wild flowers. And then calendula. And then black crazy peonies. And then the forgotten carrots and onions. So maybe try to dig some of those up today so we can get those out of the ground. <laughs> and then that hot mess of the hated grass that I just need to hack down yet again. <laughs> All right, let's get this glorious, beautiful day started and go to the time lapse. So time to get all of the random things that picked up and cleaned up, toss on the net because I'm being attacked by gnats yet again. And we're just going to clear it up out. Oh, wow. I'm losing words. Clear out all of these weeds and get the beds cleaned up. I am being very careful not to hit any of the elderberry bushes with the weed eater. That's why I love my electric weed eater. I know how to control that thing really, really well. And I can get around just about anything with it without hurting any of the plants.
I needed to get out of the sun for a few minutes, so I came over here to clean up some of these, and then I made every single bug on the planet very, very angry getting this area cleaned up. Like, they all flew out from underneath the porch and smacked me in the face, and I had to start running at some point. So I'm just going to continue to clean this, and that is a vine that just grows out of our porch for some reason. I don't know what it is, but it will not go away. And now we're going to, like, trim up some trees I mentioned in a previous video. I'm going to link this mini saw that I have down below because this thing is fabulous. I love it. There was no way we could have gotten these branches with our big chainsaw because you can't hold that thing one handed. Granted, we had to do a little maneuvering, but we did get the branches down and we are now no longer being hit in the head by all of the droopy branches when we mow dude it was so annoying to just be smacked every single time and this is a maple tree so ticks love this tree this is the weirdest line of weeds in our entire yard like it's perfectly straight i don't know if maybe the weed fabric just isn't meshing up right there but i did a pretty straight line so i'm kind of proud <clears throat> i should probably explain why this seems so random and i think i have a bug on my glasses um <clears throat> i have an allergy to the sun like, it's not going to kill me or anything, but <clears throat> I can only be in the sun for like 15, 20 minutes tops at a time, especially without sunblock. And I have learned that if I put on bug spray and sunblock at the same time, I can last maybe five minutes without getting sun poisoning. So I opt for bug spray. <laughs> I'd prefer to have bug spray on because of ticks and things. <sighs> Sorry, I just ran in and out of the house like five times had lunch and so basically we chase i chased the shade so that's why you see it jumping around oh my goodness i can see like five big hordes of gnats in the yard oh that's horrible all right so back to this honeysuckle where they all live and breed and that's why we are getting rid of the honeysuckle it's one here it's invasive and the gnats are really bad back here because they feed on it so if you grow honeysuckle, know that it may not be worth it. So we have some over on the other side, which is where I will get honeysuckle when I am ready to deal with that. But with all the gnats, it's it's got to go. And I don't even know how I'm going to get rid of it because it's just invasive as all get out. So let's get back to this. And yes, I do stop at a certain point over here. One, there is a fence back in there that's really dilapidated, as well as a ton of poison ivy. So I stopped right before I got to the poison ivy because I don't want poison ivy. So it can just stay and be happy right there and we'll keep it cut back as best we can. And now we're just gonna get other things cleaned up and continue on this rampage of getting the yard into somewhat of a good shape. What I'm doing here is I am taking all of the soil out of the things that didn't germinate or they died off 
just nothing happened with the plants and I am putting it into a big pot so I'm not just getting rid of soil. You will see me dump some later but it was completely infested by ants and I didn't think that it would be a good idea to plant anything in it so I just dumped it off over to the side and let them be all happy in the yard. They can have the yard. I'm fine with that. I don't want them inside my plants because I just think that that is a bad idea. was a long day what time is it okay it's 3 15 my time so i'm calling it for today because i am covered in ick and filth and i'm just done <laughs> yesterday was a super long day we got quite a bit done out here but if anybody knows what i can do about the freaking overgrown honeysuckle please let me know in the comments below also if you saw me jump or scream at any point it's because we have ginormous spiders and they blend into everything so you don't know they're there and but you just don't know they're there until like they scurry across your hand or your foot or something and then i was like whoa you're really big this year it's like why do you have white white fannies oh that's not your fanny they're all carrying eggs i love my spiders they do great things they eat all the bugs so I kind of need those babies to be born because these bugs are killing me. I do not like them crawling on me. I like to have my rules with the spiders. They stay in their lane. I stay in my lane. And we all live happily and contentedly, contentedly, I don't even know if that's a word, together. And I find that a great thing. Okay, so time for me to get out of the bugs. Thank you for spending this time with me today. I do really, 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 really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you for the next round. See you on the flip side, y'all.